Storylines layers are a powerful way to add additional content and interactivity to your slides and have it only appear when you tell them to appear. And in this movie, we'll work with slide layers to display content for each of the five buttons we just created. So let's go ahead and get started by going down to the slide layers panel and click the first icon, new layer. Double click the layer name and rename it to customer service. We'll tie this to the customer service button. Next, let's add a semi-transparent shape over the background area, just so we can mute some of that city background image. So go up to insert, shapes, and rectangle, and let's drag out a rectangle over this content area. Remove the shape outline, and let's give the shape a fill of white. And let's add just a tinge of transparency by right clicking the shape, format shape, transparency, and dial that transparency up to around 15 or 20 percent. All right, click close. All right, next let's lay down some text for the heading and body text for our slide. So we'll do the heading text first by going up to insert, text box, and just type customer service. We'll make this a little bit bigger, maybe around 24, bold, and center it on the uh, content area. All right, that looks good. Let's put uh, some placeholder text now here for the body text. So go back up to insert, new text box, and this time we're going to drag the text box over this content area. Now Storyline has a really neat feature for quickly adding placeholder text, and that is to type in equal sign lorem, and then open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then press enter. And that's going to fill up that entire text box that we just created. So that's all we really need to do for the initial slide design. Of course, you can customize this any way you like. You can add images, videos, whatever. But for what we're doing here, this is uh, enough of a placeholder uh, setup. So our first layer is created, and we need to move on to the next layer, right, for the next button. Now we could create the new layer just like we did this first one, right, just by uh, clicking to add a new layer, insert the background shape, insert some text. Or we can even work faster by just duplicating what we just created and then making a few quick modifications. Let's do it that way so you can see how this process works. So down in the slide layers panel, click this second icon, duplicate selected layer. Duplicating the layer copies all of the existing text, objects, anything else you have on that slide layer. So all you have to do now is just rename the layer and then update the heading text on the slide to sales technique. And this is a pretty typical workflow for Storyline. The idea is to get something, the initial object or button, or in this case, a slide layer, set up the way you like it, and then just duplicate it so you can make small minor changes rather than reinserting and building everything from scratch each time. So go ahead and repeat the process for the remaining buttons. That'll do it for our slide layers. In the next movie, we'll work with Storyline's triggers and use those triggers to open or show the content on each of the layers we just created.